Do you want to learn how to vectorize your Procut drawing into Adobe Illustrator? The answer is yes, then watch this video. Hey, what's up guys welcome back to my channel today we are actually going to bring our procreate drawing to adobe illustrator anyways i'm going to try to make this video short and sweet so let's get right into my ipad and just follow up with me into this wonderful process that is vector based art so the first thing you will need to do is go into your ipad and choose select the drawing that you want to vector so you will go into the little wrench and you will save this picture in a PNG, okay? So there is no um, background on mine because I love to only bring and vector a couple of things into my drawing. So I usually take what I want and make no background and then you can save to your files. I usually save it into my desktop. So that way it's already into my Mac. So now that is done, you don't have to do anything on your iPad anymore. It's all gonna be on your computer, so let's get right into it. So what you're going to do now, it's pretty easy since you are only going to open Adobe Illustrator on your computer. So open Adobe Illustrator and create a new document. Let's do this together, shall we? All right, here I am into Adobe Illustrator. So what I'm gonna do is create a new document and I'm going to create a, a 1080 by 1080 artboard and I am going to use RGB color for this example but remember that if you want to print this vector based art afterwards you should use CMYK colors. Anyways for this example I am using RGB colors and we are going to click on create. The first thing you have to do is drag and drop the art saved from Procreate. So take your art, it's over there, I save it on my desktop, and I just drag it into Adobe Illustrator. For me, I don't have to do anything. I can put him in the middle if I want, but just, just keep it like that um, so you don't distort the, the drawing. To show you what I'm talking about, about raster and vector, is that raster drawing are pixelized and vector ones can get, you can scale them, make them bigger and smaller as much as you want, you will never damage your uh, drawing and you won't see the pixels. So this is um, very, very important if you want to have a very um, good quality. So I'm gonna show you an example here. If I go really, really close, Close to my drawing you can see that this is pixelized okay you can see a lot of different little square and those square are the pixels so when we're going to vector our drawing this pixel are totally going to disappear because it's gonna be vectored all right so let's let's do it let's vector it so the first thing you're gonna do is make sure that your drawing is selected and you are going to go into properties over there in your um, panel properties panel and you are going to embed into the quick actions you're going to embed this drawing so first step embed your drawing your drawing is still selected if you are click somewhere else and you unselect your drawing please select it again since we need to do more work now still in your property panel you are still you are going to go again into your quick actions and this time we are going to use image trace you can also find image trace on the top on adobe illustrator so i always use the quick the quick actions in the properties but you can also use it over here so click on image trace and now you're going to have a different options i am not going to go on all those options maybe you can just try them out for yourself what one is the best for your particular illustration drawing i always do high fidelity photos so depends how fast your computer is adobe illustrator is going to take the time to process your demand and then make this uh, vector so let's do high fidelity photos looking at my pixels and bam this is done but now to be able to make changes and all of that the things that i always do is expand it so i'm going to expand that's going to as it says here is going to is going to convert this object to some path so i will be able to make it change it change colors make some little tweaks into my drawing right so let's do a expand and here we found all of the little details on my drawing so now i will be able to make modification to uh, make some edit into my drawing 
morning. So how do I know that I just made my drawing a vector drawing? Well, let's do the test. We're going to zoom really close and see if we see those pixels again. No pixels, no pixels. Only the drawing. There you go. Your drawing is a vector image. So now you can ungroup. So your illustration is still selected. If you go into your properties panel again and you ungroup this drawing, you will be able to select every single details of this drawing and change it your way. For example, I don't want this to be blue anymore. I want it to be red. Just click on it and now this is red. This one, now this is pink or whatever. You can change every single things into your drawing and you know redo it entirely if you want those to be blue don't forget to select all of it obviously and make it blue and you can do whatever you want as of right now. That was a very short and sweet quick tutorial about Adobe Illustrator and how to vectorize your Procreate drawing. I hope you really enjoyed this video if you did and this video was actually helpful for you. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel that really helped me out and don't forget to like this video. I will see you obviously next week for another tutorial or another fake design project. Until next time, take care. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.